A battle over personal information is going to court. The case involves teachers and the Ohio Republican Party. Good evening, everyone. I'm Cabot Ray. I'm Colleen Marshall. Thanks for joining us tonight. NBC4 education reporter Tanya Hutchins tells us where all this stands tonight. Teachers agree they're public servants, but not all want their personal information made public. Well, I really don't like that anybody asks for that information. Uh, that it's a political party is, to me, especially uh, unnerving. The Ohio Republican Party requested the names, home addresses, and email addresses of teachers throughout the state to let them know where Republican candidates stand on education issues. Well, our first reaction was whether or not the personal information um, retained by the Ohio Department of Education was indeed a public record. Um, and we were concerned about the protection of um, teachers and particularly our members' personal information that may be retained by the Department of Ed. The Ohio Education Association got a temporary restraining order to keep the Ohio Department of Education from releasing the information, at least until the matter is decided in court. The Ohio Republican Party says, we haven't asked for anything other than basic contact information. The department gets these requests all the time. We've asked for similar information from other departments. In our case, a third of the teachers who are OEA members are members of the Republican Party already, and there's an assumption on the Republican Party's part that all of us who are teachers are somehow unable to think without their additional information being sent to us. Barry Alcock is a Democrat. He says he'd rather get information from Republicans as they speak out in the Ohio House and Senate. The case over the public records request goes to court November 24th. I also contacted the Ohio Democratic Party. A spokesman says ODP has never made such a request for personal information.